I'm working on this job here, the floor sanding job. It's uh, going to be stained kind of like the doors. You can see how that, like a brown stain. It was gray, a gray, a, a classic gray stain, and the homeowner didn't like it. Um, but now I want to show show people out there what what you have to do to make a uh, to make a floor stain make a floor stain correctly so you don't show edger marks and it's hard to see now you can see them right there you can see the edger marks right they're going in through here right in here all the way over here I know it's hard to see them this phone yeah they're there right here they're kind of circular these are all edger marks and this particular hallway is is on a 45 you can see the floors on a 45 hallways on a 45 but the floor is going straight but anyway so in the corner here you have a problem with the drum sander ending like right right in this area right here you can't really get much closer to the wall other than from here over to there so you have this triangle this triangle here that that has edger marks in it and like I said you can see the edger marks they're really hard to see yeah there they are right there you can see they're kind of circular there's some right next to this knot right here see they're going circular there so I'm going to show you guys how to how to get rid of those edger marks you can either use a palm sander like I have here it's one way I'm going to show you how to do that same same area now now you can't there's that knot area where the edger marks used to be now you can clearly see there's no there's no more edger marks and this area should stain up really nice now it's going to be all consistent and uh, no no scratches they're just real Real super faint here. There's actually a few more right in there, but they're very subtle. Nothing really that'll cause a problem. Yeah, you can't really see them. They're very subtle. But those things, those little scratches show on every stain job. The darker the stain, the more the scratches show. Um, like your dark walnuts and uh, Jacobian or Jacobine and uh, Espresso English chestnut chestnut those kind of colors when you get into the more provincial the early American stains um, those so 
those uh, tend to be a little bit more forgiving. Um, jobs that you don't have to sand when you do stain is like anything like lighter than nutmeg. Nutmeg, um, you got, uh, let me see, there's uh, provincial, no, anything, nutmeg, uh, sometimes provincial, provincial can show, um, your uh, colonial maples, those, those are very uh, user friendly. Uh, and uh, Puritan pine, those are, you don't have to worry about those. But anyway, yeah, I just want to do this video. And yeah, there's some right in here too. But I haven't done this yet. So.